Hello YouTube. Today we're making low fat chicken salad. Anytime we can, we need to try to reduce the fat calories or the fat grams out of our food. And we're going to use non-fat Greek plain yogurt today to do that. I'm going to show you how to do that in this recipe. In this recipe today, we're going to be using five eggs. So we're going to get those eggs boiled. I'm using the Instant Pot. If you're using the Instant Pot, add two cups of water. Put your rack in the bottom, place your eggs in the bottom not touching, and let it pressure on high for eight minutes. If you're just cooking them on top of the stove, you'll need to cook them around 18 minutes once they come to a boil. This will get them to the hard boiled stage for you. While our eggs are cooking in the pressure cooker, I'm going to get that chicken all trimmed up, get all the fat off of it that I can. And we're going to also slice them in half, side to side. These chicken breasts are pretty big and we want them to cook as fast as possible. And them being that large, it could take a lot longer to cook them. Once your eggs are, are done, you'll take them out of the, the pot with a slotted spoon or a pair of tongs. I place them in a bowl and I cover them with about an inch and a half of ice to cool. <clears throat> your eggs cooling this way with the ice water it makes them a lot easier to peel we're going to empty all the water out of the instant pot we're going to add two quarts of hot water to the instant pot with a half a teaspoon of salt quarter teaspoon of black pepper garlic powder and onion powder we're going to place our chicken breast in and since these are a little yard larger I would normally only cook chicken breast for 17 minutes we're going to increase that cook time today to 20 because they are still partially frozen also. While our chicken breasts are cooking in the Instant Pot, you can also cook them on top of the stove in just a regular stock pot using the same directions. You may need to add a little bit more water and they'll need to cook probably 35 to 40 minutes, maybe a little longer. We're going to be adding for extra flavor and taste going to be adding some roasted red and green bell peppers and some sweet pickle relish. I'm not sure if you can find green roasted bell peppers in the store or not. I can these up myself. The sweet pickle relish that we're using today is store bought. Normally we would be using <clears throat> our own sweet pickles chopped up fine but we ran out of sweet pickles and uh, we'll be canning some up this year again. Once your chicken is done, remove it from the water with a pair of tongs or a slotted spoon. I place mine in the freezer to cool. Placing in the freezer just makes it cool faster to where you can get your hands on it and get it sliced up and ready. Once it's cool, you'll take and slice the chicken against the grain in half inch strips. Once you get it all cut up, you're going to take your hands and your fingers in there and you're going to shred this chicken in little bitty pieces. The reason you're shredding into little bitty pieces is it's going to be eaten on a sandwich or crackers or something like that. And you want it easily to chew. And if it's got chunks in it, it makes it a little bit harder to chew. But once you have all of this all shredded up, at this time, go ahead and take a little time add a little extra salt and pepper. And then we're going to add a third a cup of our yogurt and one third cup of our mayo. And we're going to stir that in. Then we're going to add one third cup of roasted green peppers, one third cup of roasted red bell peppers, and a half a cup of the sweet pickle relish. <clears throat> you'll stir this in. At this time, you'll be able to see if your chicken salad needs more moisture in the salad. If it does, that's when we're going to use more of our non fat plain Greek yogurt. Now that your eggs are all cooled and you've got them peeled, you'll dice them up fine. And once you have your chicken salad to the consistency that you want it, you can add your eggs in at the last and stir it all in. Now that you've got it all stirred in and ready to go and you've got your moisture right, you know, some people like it drier, some people like it more moist. That's up to you. If it's a little drier later on, you can still add more of the non-fat 
Greek yogurt to it. This time taste it and see if the seasonings are where you want them. It may need a little more salt or pepper or you may want to add some Tony Sacheries to spice it up a little bit. Depends on your own personal taste. Sometimes we chop, we chop up those sweet jalapenos and place them in our chicken salad. Just gives a little bit of a spicy kick. Really tastes good if you don't add too many like I do sometimes. Hope you enjoy our chicken salad. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please also give us a thumbs up for our recipe. Hope you enjoyed our video. Have a great day. This is the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.